Today I want to talk about the number one technique that I believe all YouTube creators should know and master. Or at least you guys, the ones who are watching this video, because probably you make talking head type of videos for YouTube where you're looking directly into the camera and you're having a conversation with your audience. And this technique is called the jump cut. You might already be incorporating jump cuts into your videos, but today I wanted to talk about how you do them properly and how you can use them and execute them more effectively in your videos. And the biggest reason for using a jump cut is to include a faster flow to your videos. It's just easier as a viewer to consume a YouTube video that has jump cuts in it. But that doesn't mean that you wanna include jump cuts left and right. You don't want it to be too distracting. The other reason for using jump cuts is that it can make your production process a lot easier. Usually what I do is I write down bullet points to outline the script for my video, and then I kind of do multiple takes for the same point, and then I just pick the take that I like best and weave that in using jump cuts to create my final video. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro and let me show you how to do jump cuts. So I'm just gonna edit the intro that you just saw right now. Uh, this is what the unedited clip looks like. As you can see here, these are the audio waveforms and you definitely need to have those on uh, so you can do these jump cuts because it's really based on your dialogue and when you're talking. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here and show you what this looks like unedited. Cool. So you can see that I look down at my notes when I'm done with that first sentence. So basically what I'm gonna do is hit the hit the letter B because it's Final Cut Pro and that's the shortcut to get the blade tool to make a cut, right? So here I've made a cut. I'll zoom in a little bit more and you can see that I, I make the cut right at the end of the sentence. Now let's continue going. I check my notes to see what's next. I have a tendency to say okay when I mess up, uh, which makes it really easy because if I say okay at the end of something, I know to just cut it out. So these are all just mess ups um, and let's see, I'll just cut it right here because I think this one's a good one. So once I make the cut, I'm gonna cut it out, right? So let's delete it. Um, and then we'll see what the rest of this looks like. Boom, okay, so that's where we end. So this is what this jump cut looks like now. So uh, you could see that it, it cuts straight to the next sentence, right? Which is the essence of a jump cut, but we wanna make it a little bit tighter just cause it's, you know, not natural. There's like a pause and the whole point of this is to, you know, to make a faster flow. So I'm just gonna drag this to make it a little bit tighter as in, cut more of the dead space out and just try to go straight to the talking, right? So it's gonna look more like this. See how it's a little more faster paced. So I like how that turned out. Um, let me just show you one more part. So here I end this sentence, silence, silence, silence. This is me checking my notes. Here's the final line. All right, so it's just, and this technique is called the jump cut. So I'm gonna cut this out, cut out the space, um, and I'm gonna just start the next sentence so you guys can see. All right, so it looks like this. Again, not tight enough, so let's just, uh, let's just tighten that up. Boom, boom. Not too tight. That's too tight. Uh, you're gonna get better at this as you do it. Yeah, I've done like 500 videos, so. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, so then I go off to the next line and here's basically what it looks like. Well, actually, I don't even need to show you this because that's what you guys already saw. Um, this needs to be cut a little bit. So sometimes if you do jump cuts, it can look jumpy like a robot. So a, a way that you can kind of disguise the jump cut or make it uh, more seamless is to change the angle or change the visual. So the jump cut is hidden because it looks like it's a different angle, right? So for, and this technique is called the jump cut, that's kind of like the punchline. So what I could do is 
zoom in on this and kind of crop in to make it look like it's a different angle. So I'm gonna go to the scale and I don't know, let's do like 115. And we're gonna bring down the footage so my head's not getting chopped off. Let's do some, something like that. Okay, so then it would look like this. So you kind of zoom in for emphasis. It just it just visually looks more engaging and it hides the jump cut. So that's that's another thing that you can do. I wouldn't do it like mid sentence. I think that if you have those kind of final points or standalone points, the jump cut and the zoom in is a really good effective way to kind of hit the final point home. And so that's basically it. The, the thing just to keep in mind is like, there's a an art to, when to cut off and start the next clip. So, you know, you don't want it like this where it's too far. You, you'll totally be able to tell it's just not natural. Actually, that's actually not too bad. But if it was like this. See, you could see my head come up from my notes and stuff like that. So just make sure that it's tight enough where it sounds more natural and you cut out all the dead space. Like that. So now that we know how to do the jump cut, let's talk about how to be less awkward in front of the camera. Go ahead and check out this video next. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.